It is time to expand minds through movies, TV, sports, and flicks. It is time to boldly go where no podcast has gone before. It is time for the Captain Talks Flicks. The Captain, the Captain Talk, Talk Licks. 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 Welcome to the Captain Talks Licks Podcast. I'm your host, the Captain Cortez, aka Mr. Love, and this is where we talk flicks. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've been here before, you know what my absolute favorite thing in the universe is when it comes to movies, TV, sports, and flicks and screens. But do you know what my number two is? Do you know what my number two is? Do you even care? Maybe you don't care, maybe you do. Well, my number two most favorite thing on the tube is espionage. Spine, I love Spine. Spine is absolutely magnificent. Yeah, it's great. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I do have a favorite spy TV show. Something is going on with my favorite show. I'm gonna get into that, but first, a couple things. I wanna give a big shout out to Tripoli. Got some plays over in Tripoli, Libya this past week. Gracias. Gratitude, Dorba. Now, Tripoli, I'm shocked that somebody in Tripoli would listen to this podcast. When I look at the globe and the map and I look at all the plays, you know, I kind of think, okay, we get plays here, we get plays here, we get plays here. That makes sense. But Tripoli, and this is no disrespect to your region, no disrespect to your land, I just didn't think that I would resonate with anyone in Tripoli. I appreciate the fact that somebody in Tripoli listened to my podcast. I don't know what it is, not sure where it's at, but I appreciate it. Very cool that we getting a broader, broader reach that even up in Tripoli, the captain is getting heard. So thanks for listening. I appreciate it. God's gratitude. And additionally, this episode is brought to you by the album Labyrinths of the Mind by yours truly, the Captain Che Cortez. If you want to hear an album with me rapping in my unique rap style, motivational, inspirational, sci-fi craziness over melodic, electronic, hypnotic type beats, Check out the album called Lambert's of the Mind. I'll put the link below. Now, let's get on the podcast. So ladies and gentlemen, like I just said, I love espionage. And I have a favorite espionage show. And I'm going to tell you right now what that show is. My most favorite espionage TV show ever made in the 48 years of me being on planet Earth is the one and only The Bureau. And if you've been with this podcast for quite some time, you've probably heard the episodes I did about The Bureau. I did a bunch of episodes about The Bureau because I loved it so much. It had me so emotional. It had me pondering my life afterwards. It was absolute craziness. A TV show has not really made me feel like this other than Star Trek. Star Trek's the only one. Other than that, The Bureau's the only show that took me on these mental, emotional journeys. It had me decompressing after the episode was over. The episode would get over, I had to stop and decompress. They were that Powerful. Now, you haven't seen the show. The show is a French spy show. We show the spy world through the lens of the DGSE, I believe. I might be off on the initials. But anyways, it's the French spy service, and the stories are told through the lens of that, and all the spying and terrorism and all that kind of thing that goes on in that region of the world, which is in France. A phenomenal show. I'd watched over at the Sundance Now app a while back. I binged it all, like, in a few months. It was so, so great. Well, Captain, the title of this episode does not say that. Why are you talking about the Bureau? Because, ladies and gentlemen, finally, someone has decided to remake the Bureau. And I knew it was coming. I knew sooner or later it was going to happen. I knew sooner or later someone was going to do it. It was just a matter of time. And finally, someone has decided to do that. This morning, I got up. I was watching the Paramount shareholders meeting. Because, yeah, your boy Captain owns shares. I've talked about that many times in the podcast that I'm a shareholder of Paramount because I love Star Trek so much, so I bought shares. Now, this is not financial advice. I'm not telling you to buy shares in Paramount. Do whatever you want. I'm just telling you I own them because I own shares. I watch shareholders meeting because I'm a shareholder. Okay. Not a brag. Just telling you what happened. So, when I'm watching the shareholders meeting, and in the shareholders meeting, the executives are telling what they're excited about. They're saying, I'm excited about this, this, and this. And the executives talk, 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 talk. But when they're talking, one of the executives is like, I'm excited about the department. And he goes in to explain that the department is a remake of the Bureau. And as soon as I heard that this morning, I'm like, whoa, hold the brakes. Are you telling me Paramount Showtime is going to be remaking the Bureau? I was like, that is absolutely magnificent. I was like, I love the Bureau. It should be interesting to see the American version. 
This could absolutely be magnificent. But there's more. They also went on to say that George Clooney would be producing, executive producing, and directing. Clooney, bro. I like Clooney. Clooney is good in front of the camera, behind the camera, and he see he takes. He's good at storytelling. He's a phenomenal storyteller. He's been in the game for a long time. Clooney and the department together, they could make magic. This show could be phenomenal. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm so excited. I was like, finally, bro, they bring in that awesomeness of the bureau to America. Yeah, so it should be cool. Now, one additional thing too. I was online, seeing some comments, and some comments said, bro, this could be a fail or this could be spectacular. Now, I'll say there's some truth to that. Any show that ever comes out, whether it's a remake or not, has the potential to be bad, has the potential to be good. But you got Clooney, you got the Bureau. I'm saying, bro, this is going to be phenomenal. This cannot be bad. It's going to be absolutely magnificent. I feel it. I can feel it. I can feel it. Now, currently, I don't have Showtime. But as soon as this show is ready to rock and roll, I'm signing up. I'm connected. I'm getting out. i like, Showtime, we all in, baby. Because I got to see this. This has to get watched. Live, as soon as it comes out, I will be watching this. And of course, I will talk about every episode on this podcast. Now, I think in the shareholders meeting, the executive did go on to say that, that they're starting to shoot tomorrow. It starts tomorrow. So we're probably thinking maybe 2025 release, I'm thinking somewhere in there, first quarter, second quarter, who knows? But it's coming. It's on the way. And will they be able to bring the magic of the Bureau to America? I think they will. And if you followed this podcast before, you know it's my continuing mission to watch all spy TV shows, movies, video games, books. It's a never ending quest to consume, watch, enjoy all the art that is about the great game. Oh yeah, so I'm so excited. Now one thing I'm gonna say real quick before I sign off. George Clooney is a very cool dude, at least from my perspective. He's a very smart, cool dude. In a while back, I was thinking like in the future when Che Cortez, the captain's old man. And we start seeing news stories. I would not be surprised if later on when I'm old man, it has been revealed that George Clooney was actually working for the intelligence agencies. I mean, because he's such a sly, suave dude, I could see that he might've done that. You know, if you look back to the past, we see like Julia Child work for intelligence and some other famous, prominent people that had high profile entertainment jobs and also worked in intelligence. He seems like he could do that. He plays all his roles a little too good. <laughs> Anyways, this is not real. I'm just joking here. I didn't read something or see something. I'm not saying that's what's going down. I just thought it'd be interesting that he kind of plays those roles so well. He's just such an international man that I wouldn't be surprised. So anyways, the department is coming. Remake of the Bureau. It should be absolutely phenomenal. I can feel it. This is going to be great. I cannot wait. Yeah, I'm proud to be a shareholder in Paramount. Entertainment-wise, they're bringing a lot of heat, baby. Yeah, so it's cool. Awesome. Yeah. The department is coming. Prepare. Get your fedora. Get your sunglasses. Get ready to do some dead drops, right? Get your aliases, bro. Get your fake passport, because it's coming. So yeah, this concludes the podcast. And until next time, we'll see. Motivation is what gets you started. Habit is what keeps you going. Jim Rohn. Until next time, it's Captain Beast. The Captain Captain Talks Talks Flicks. Flicks.